My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube. Boy, that light is coming in. Woo, woo, woo. I'm in South Flat, Florida. Boy, that light's coming in. Listen, I'm a former IRS agent. I worked 10 years at the Internal Revenue Service. I am a national expert in IRS resolution matters. I've been uh, doing this now for 51 years and I want to tell you most of you don't know by the way if you want to look me up go to my website at 777irs.com I've been on the national news many times you can see what me I'm like on Fox or ABC or NBC or CBS or News Nation Newsmax but anyway um, IRS are sending out a bunch of 1058s and uh, 11 uh, LT 11s they're like saturating like the post office these are IRS's final notices before enforcement action you're gonna get this note if you owe back taxes you're in the cycle of this stuff I'm just letting you know IRS is uh, gonna come out and they're gonna come uh, after you very soon if you haven't paid what happened is uh, uh, this isn't like a marketing gimmick I'm just telling you why this has all happened I've just got six clients with these letters. IRS was sending out their 501s, their 503s, their 504s, certified mail, and then all of a sudden COVID happens and they suppressed all these notices. And then boom, all of a sudden IRS starts kicking it up. They sent a couple soft letters out before the LT58 and now all of a sudden game time full bore IRS is sending all these notices IRS has enough people to take the calls and they're ready to move on all this so I just want you to know if you received an L10 or a 1058 letter I just want you to know the enforcement action without question is cranking up and not a human hand touches these cases you know when I was there we had to send all levies out but not no more the K2 computer system kicks all these cases out they're all computer generated they're all systematic so if you want to stop that IRS levy action that's coming if you wait it you just it's very simple you just gotta make a call the IRS but 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 this is where you have to make a decision should if you don't owe a lot of money and you don't have a lot of assets okay to call IRS if you owe bigger debt um, you have to know what IRS is going to do when you call them, and that's the problem. People wind up calling us back, and I said, you know, we try to go ahead and take care of it. We wound up with a payment agreement we can't afford. And why is this? Not a marketing thing. I'm letting you know now. IRS has what's called a national standard program. Look it up yourself, the IRS national standard. And what they do is they substitute your your information, your your, um, they take out your expenses and they put theirs in. Look at the IRS national standards. They have them in five categories, but four important. IRS national standards for food and clothing, housing and utilities, car payments, and car expenses. Once, 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 IRS goes ahead and looks at your financial statement and they take and apply their standards. You're screwed and most people wind up with payment agreements they don't want. So just be careful. You're welcome to do it by yourself, but if you owe a lot of money, it's really not a good idea. These are time-sensitive letters. Know at the end of the 30 days you're going to get a bank levy or wage garnishment or a federal tax lien. Um, just telling you like it is. If you need me, call me. I answer my own phone all the time. No one picks up my phone but me. So you're welcome to call me at any time. Give me a subscription. I always tell you stuff that goes on behind the scenes at IRS when I can't. Thank you so much for calling. I appreciate it.